Hi, Giovanni here at Fraptos, and today we're checking some other East Coast sounds. So in another video we played with uh, Brainsos PWM and the Flip Sync, which are some trademark East Coast sounds. But the other one is of course the um, filtered sound, and uh, for that kind of uh, application, of course, the best way is having a variable frequency uh, resonant filter, which we don't have in the system here. But even if it is not um, designed for that, we can still use Fumana and at aim at that kind of sound. In the system here, I'm using an external controller instead of the Usta sequencer. Now, I passed my CV and gate to the 333 because I might need multiple, multiple copies of them. And I will start by patching uh, my CV to the Brainso. And this time we are going to use uh, uh, the Brainso in a pretty vanilla configuration. We are going to take our square output, which is set to the pulse shaper output, and uh, the green sawtooth wave and we are going to patch them to the 331 and achieve a premix that we will send to Fumana like this if our output is too hot we can use this switch here and attenuate by 6 dB and uh, then we will take Fumana's all output and patch it to our CGM. Now, the oscillators are detuned on purpose to create that East Coast vibe. but we need to animate this filter. What we are going to do to emulate a variable frequency uh, filter is using these controls here. The parametric scanner center and the width. And we will control them with an envelope. And uh, our envelope is, is going to be Falistri, of course. So if I patch... Um, if I duplicate, let's say, my first envelope here with the 333 and uh, patch it to both the um, parametric scanner input inputs that I need, like this, I am controlling a little bit of width because if I the, the center no the center knob work like this. It opens the bands above and below this the frequency that we select here. So it's not like a low pass filter, but it's more uh, like a low pass filter and a high pass filter moving it, like in, in a mirror fashion. And this is not what we are after, because we want our frequency to close only downwards. Otherwise, we would lose the bass. The problem is that I cannot go past a certain level, because my center is symmetrical. So if I want to open all the frequencies, I need to work both on the width and the center. So I should start something somewhere around here and then simultaneously move the central frequency as I close the filter, like this. This is why you need to duplicate the envelope, so that it can control both parameters. And, uh, of course, I need to trigger it with my gate. That is reasonable. However, um, I think that it lacks something, which is a very subtle difference uh, between Falistri and more, 
let's say, East Coast envelopes, which is the ADSR, because um, in the classic analog East Coast sounds, we, when, we, when we strike the key, we have an attack and a decay. So we, have, we can create a spike before the sustain level that improves uh, the clarity. See? This is just on. My idea here is to use the um, max output and uh, con uh, instead of the unipolar output and use the gate to trigger both envelopes. And what happens here is that I can control the I can set my first envelope to be a uh, transient like this and set its level to the maximum level and then I can set my green envelope to be hold like this but keep its volume much lower and then I can combine these two envelopes like this We can add a pinch of reverb. And then we can just play with the levels and fine tune our our filter. This sound works very good also with higher pitches like this. The problem is that, um, yeah, this is probably a bit too harsh. Like this. The problem with this kind of um, patch is that the cutoff frequency, which is the center frequency, is always the same. So. You hear that the higher uh, notes are a little bit darker. And uh, in uh, some East Coast uh, kind of filters, you can control the tracking. So you can use the volt per octave signal to move the, the cutoff frequency along with the keys so that they retain the same harmonic uh, content, uh, proportionally at least. So to achieve this effect, I need to use both the volt per octave signal and the envelope to control the center frequency. And here was here's what I will do. I will... Uh, mm, so this is the envelope that controls the uh, parametric scanner center. And I am going to take it from the second section of the 333 instead of the first one. Because I will patch my CV input here so that I can mix it to the I can mix it with the envelope and by doing so I should be able to control the the tracking of my filter see and if I want I can even amplify or reduce the volt per octave signal that I want to mix with my I want to mix with my envelope and in this case I since I don't want the volt per octave signal to be mixed with my uh, sound sources that I'm sending to Fumana, I used the unpatched output on the 321, which takes only the sum of the, uh, the sections that do not have anything patched to their output signal. So since I patched this cable to my volt per octave signal, I am excluding it from this mix while still retaining it to this one. And you can see that with low notes, my uh, middle uh, 
frequency is here and with higher ones is here and then here and then here and then here so I guess that this is it for today. I think I have a couple of more ideas on how to incorporate Fumana into a more East Coast kind of sound, but I think I will save them for other videos. For now, I hope you had a good time, I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you next week for more Patch Tips.